up everyone? I hope you've all been great. My name is Veronica. If you're new here to my channel, welcome. So for today's video, it's a little bit of an a little bit of an embarrassing one. Just just a little bit. You know that tutorial that I posted, like my only tutorial on this channel so far. The purple little bias dress that I made for a custom order. It ended up not fitting her. Oh yes. yes, I know. I know. It ended up being just too short on like the asymmetrical side that was like a little bit higher. It ended up being too short. She didn't like the way it was fitting her. Like it was just like a little too small. She gave me that fabric. Like it, she bought that fabric for herself and then she sent it to me to make a dress for her out of it. So that's all the fabric there was. There was only about like three yards and I used almost all of it like I just have like a small piece left so I can't make her another dress with the same fabric thankfully she was so sweet and super understanding and she was like it happens like I sew too and like I I mess up and sometimes things end up being smaller and so I totally understand but I still want a dress for me for my birthday so I was like Oh my god, thank god she was so like understanding and like appreciative. She said the dress was so well made that she didn't want to like alter because I told her that I could make it bigger. That she just wants me to resell it and have someone else buy it and I'll just and I can just make her a new dress. I was like, of course, like that's no problem, like and it's all you know, it's on me. So now she's gonna send me the other dress back so I can resell it and I'm making her a new one. That was my first video that I made like doing a tutorial and I think I was way too focused on like the tutorial and like the lighting and the camera and then it took me three days to make to make that dress because I just kept running into so many issues while I was filming. Like, I don't know what was going through my head that like I just ended up making it the exact same size as a mannequin and it just ended up being too small on her. Like, and so I really wanted to share like this experience because I feel like many designers don't. This really doesn't happen to me too often, but obviously like we're humans and we make mistakes. I do not consider myself a professional. Like I am still learning, like I'm only 21 and I've been sewing for 10 years, but only now am I actually getting like a lot better than I was. And so I'm constantly improving and I feel like I really wanted to share this experience because not many designers show like their mistakes. Being a fashion designer is very overwhelming and a lot of hard work and you're gonna make so many mistakes, but you're just gonna have to learn from them. And I'm someone that learns from my mistakes always. So today we are making her a new dress. She ended up wanting to like change it around, like changing the design a bit. So she decided that she wanted to get like a dark hunter green for the dress instead. And she wants to keep the cow neck and she wants it to be deeper and keep the little sleeves. But instead she wants it to be more mid-length still the asymmetrical hem but like more like at her calves she wants the back to be open and lace up with a little drape here just like my lana dress that i make like that same back but with like the aubrey dress front so i think it's gonna look really cute so i'm really excited and i am not going to mess it up i'm not gonna mess it up <laughs> that was enough talking let's just get straight into the video we're gonna use the same front piece from the other dress I'm just gonna extend the sides just like about half an inch because then I'm gonna extend the back too so whenever you are grading a pattern like say you draped a dress on your mannequin but you're just a little bit bigger and you can use the same pattern that you used to drape on your mannequin and just extend your side seams say that you need to add like an extra inch from your bust, you, the mannequin is 34, but you're 35. Say you're doing this like on the fold and you add like an extra inch to the side seam, then that means that both side seams are gonna have an extra inch. Plus you do that to the back piece, you're gonna have an extra inch on both sides as well. So then you're just gonna have a whole extra four to five inches on the dress. So what you want to do is divide that number into four. So add like an extra inch to this. I would divide it by four. I would just add like an extra quarter or an extra half inch on this front panel in half so that there's an extra half inch or whatever on the front side seam and then extra half inch on each um, or quarter inch, whatever, on the back piece. So then it adds up to that one extra inch that you have to have around 
I hope that made sense. But that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna add the extra, I think I'm just gonna add like an extra half inch. I don't think she wants it to be super fitted. So I, I wanna make it more like a little bit looser. Plus she'll have like the lace up in the back, which she can adjust how tight she wants it. So she'll have like that freedom, I guess. <laughs> piece out of my front Lana piece. This is what I use to like drape the back. And I just have to cut out the straps and the little sleeves. Alright, we have everything cut out, but I'm going to pad my mannequin to be to her measurements. Um, just so like I can have it exact what i like to use to pad my mannequin because i don't have like you can buy specific padding things to like add to your mannequin but they're like a bit expensive one day i'll invest into them but for now i just use padding like um this is like the padding that i get for my cups to make my cups and it's just like a foam bra padding but i also use all of these old paddings from like bathing suit tops um i have a ton and like people have also given them to me some shoulder pads from like shirts like old grandma shirts like i cut them out or like regular tailored shoulder pads from like tailored jackets Okay, so I finished padding it. Come on. I know she looks real funny. <laughs> but when something that you want to keep in mind whenever you're padding up your mannequin is like where are the more areas of concern? So does she have more boobs that you need to like add more padding to the front? Or does she have like a wider back and needs more padding in the back? Um for the waist, like does she have more of like a stomach or more on like the sides, which is usually like um, this is more like there's more usually in the front than there is in the back and then with hips the opposite usually like less in the front and everything is in the back so you want to add more to like the butt and the hips This is how she's looking. You. Yes. Okay. So I just have everything like pinned because since she wants to have like the little draped sleeve here, I need to have something in the back to attach it to. And usually before like I would have the loops on the side seams and it would just lace across the entire back. But since I need something to hold the sleeves onto, I added these little like panels here and then I have like the draped center photos. But I'm gonna go eat and wait, see if she replies. She has not reply. So we're gonna go eat now and chillax. Y'all, a coconut just flew. Do you see that? That it was, it literally almost fell right on my car. That, that could have been tragic. This is not a cute angle, but. 
My farm is so pretty. I love to just stare at it. So she hasn't replied to me and I don't want to like keep moving forward and just in case she doesn't like anything um, or she doesn't like the back or something and I'm not going to go through the process of like seam ripping it to like make it and seam rip it. We're not going to do that. But I have like a million other things I have to do. I have to start um, cutting out orders from my last job. So I have 14 orders. Um, so I'm just going to start cutting them out and prepping them while I wait. And hopefully she replies to me soon. If not, then I'll just have to finish it tomorrow. So she texted me. I ended up cutting out like two orders though. Good. But now it's raining. You hear a lot of noise, that's what it is. Alright, so she likes how it's looking, so I'm gonna start sewing. I started sewing the dress, I finished the back piece, back little square pieces with the loops, and I attached like a little sleeve to both sides, so that's ready. Since this dress doesn't have a lining in it, she just wanted it like a single layer, um, I had to add facing to the sleeve, I mean the armhole. And I added like some interfacing to the facing to make it like a little bit stiffer. What's up everyone? It's the next day and the dress is almost finished. So last night, hand basted all of the, the I hand basted both of the little sleeves into the front. And I just have to like go in with the machine and do like a final stitch so that it stays in place. I hand sewed my tag into it. I already cut the diagonal for the bottom. I just had to hem it and then I am done. I'm gonna go ahead and just finish everything up real quick so that I can pack it up and give it to my mailman so that I can ship it today. So let's just get straight into sewing. So this is the final look. Yes. 
She's cute. I'm obsessed. I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you're a beginner at sewing or you're very experienced and you're afraid to try something new because you're gonna make a mistake, don't be. Just try it and make the mistake and learn from it. That is literally the best advice I can give you. I have failed so many times and every time I just keep trying until I get better. I hope this doesn't scare anyone from getting a custom order from me. I promise you, this barely happens. It's just, I'm human and I'm learning. But 